Well, what did the green grape say to the purple grape? Breathe, man, breathe. Or can you turn me down a little? Thank you. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. Let's give Mark Mills a hand. Mark Mills, um, Keith and Carrie are on vacation. Let's give Mark Mills a hand. So are you ready to breathe consciously today? We're going to practice that today. Um, you know, you usually don't n notice it, but 12 to 20 times per minute, day after day, you breathe thanks to your respiratory system. It's an amazing process, this thing we call breathing. And so I'm just going to give us a little brief lesson on our human physiology. So breathing starts at the nose, right, and comes in through the nostrils, and then it travels to the back of your throat into your trachea. And then your trachea then divides into air passages called bronchial tubes. And then as the bronchial tubes pass through the lungs, they divide into smaller air passages called bronchioles. And if you've ever had bronchitis, you know what I'm talking about, right? You can feel it. The bronchioles end in tiny balloon-like air sacs called alveoli. Your body has over 300 million alveoli. And these alve alveoli are surrounded by a mesh of tiny blood vessels called capillaries. And here, oxygen from the inhaled air passes through the alveoli walls and into the blood. After absorbing oxygen, the blood leaves the lungs and is carried to your heart. Your heart then pumps it through your body to provide oxygen to the cells of your tissues and organs. As the cells use the oxygen, Carbon dioxide is produced and absorbed into the blood. Your blood then carries the carbon dioxide back to your lungs where it is removed from the body when you exhale. The breathing process is aided by a large dome-shaped muscle under the lungs called the diaphragm. So when you breathe in, the diaphragm contracts downward, creating a vacuum that causes a rush of air into the lungs. And the opposite occurs with exhalation where the diaphragm relaxes upwards, pushing on the lungs, allowing them to deflate. There's also a system in place to prevent harmful substances in the air from entering the lungs. Isn't this amazing? A single breath involves that whole process. And do we ever stop and just thank the breath, thank the body for the amazingness it is? So can we just take a moment, just take a deep breath, and close your eyes and just say thank you. Thank you, breath. Thank you, body, for the amazing way you sustain me moment to moment. Yeah. Okay. So after last Sunday's message of putting the mind in the heart, it stirred me to do a message simply about the breath. Because, you know, when we're moving that mental energy into our heart space, we can do it with the breath. The breath moves energy. The breath is core not only to our physical survival. I think it is an essential tool for us to be aware of on the spiritual journey. Because I believe it is the most powerful tool we have to be in present moment awareness. And when we're in present moment awareness, like we talked about in meditation, we avail ourselves to the fullness of life, moment by moment by moment. So today, what I thought I would do is share with you a few techniques. And some of these you might be very familiar with. So maybe it would just be a practice for you. Others, maybe it's something maybe you haven't done before. With the sole purpose of us recognizing the beauty and the power of the breath that breathes us every minute. So 
how this can look is I just invite you to get comfortable. And if you have anything in your lap, you might just want to like put purses aside, put bulletins aside. Just allow yourself to just be fully present in your chair. Feet flat on the floor. If you want to put your feet up in the chair, that's fine if you have room. So give yourself space to relax and just be peaceful. So let's take a deep breath again. And if you feel comfortable, just close your eyes. And in between each technique that we do, you can just keep your eyes closed, whatever works for you to just stay in that centered present place. So let's once again use the breath, follow the movement of the breath like we did in meditation. So just begin to notice how the air moves into your body and start to follow how the air moves in through your nostrils, how it moves into your chest and belly. As you inhale, the belly rises, and as you exhale, the belly falls. So just follow that movement now. And what I'm going to ask you to just pay attention to is the subtle gap between each breath. In between each breath, there is a gap, a pause, between each inhale and exhale. So breathe in and notice the pause. Breathe out and notice that pause. That pause is the still point between each breath. Notice the pause, notice that still place. Notice that pause in between every inhale and every exhale. When you are triggered in life, if you can access this pause, it can make the difference between you reacting in a way that it's not your truth or responding from a compassionate heart. Noticing the pause shifts us away from being on autopilot to being present and responding from our heart. <clears throat> Practicing this technique of finding this still point supports us in living more consciously. It helps us to be present and respond from awareness versus reaction. So 
I just invite you now to take a deep breath. And now we're going to move into another technique where we allow the breath to let go of stuck energy. We can use the breath to release the stronghold of emotions grounded in old stories and reactions and habitual limited thinking. The breath can get in there and break up that stuck energy. So once again, bring your attention to the breath. Soften and let yourself be grounded in the present moment. And bring to your mind's eye a story you keep telling, a feeling you keep feeling, a limited thought you keep having or a reaction that you know does not serve you. Just name what it is you want to be released in a space of non-resistance and just notice if you have any judgment about this story or this thought or this feeling or reaction. I just invite you to be gentle with yourself and see if you can gently allow what it is you want to be released to be held in a heart of compassion. And I invite you to silently say to yourself, gently, I let go. I let go. To soften the body and heart and let any feelings that arise be released with each exhale and know that as they are released, they turn into white light. I let go. I let go. Notice if you feel any space opening up in your heart. Notice if you feel the heart softening. Notice if the feeling returns or the story returns. And each time they return, just breathe softly as if to bow to them. And say gently with compassion, I've let you go. I've let you go. So just take a deep breath into your heart. And take another deep breath into that space of letting go. And finally, we're going to use the breath 
to let in, to drink in the fullness of life. Its beauties, its joys, its endless opportunities to grow and to consciously tap into the abundant flow that is life. And this is an opportunity for you to bring to your mind's eye something or someone that brings you such joy. It might be when you listen or hear to beautiful music and it touches your soul. It might be when you walk in nature, your favorite place in nature, and you just feel so full and grateful. It might be remembering a love that has been so deep in your life, whether that person is still on the planet or not, but the mere thought of them fills your heart with joy. Often our instantaneous response to that is to breathe it in. So let your heart open and let your mind open to a visual image of something that brings you great joy, that has brought great love or that brings great love to your life. And as you take a deep breath, let it in fully into your heart. Let it inform every cell of your being the deep appreciation and joy you have. The power of the breath is that it can allow us to drink in all the sensory joys of being human. The sounds, the smells, the taste, the visual images, all of it. It's so beautiful to be alive. And in this sacred moment of conscious awareness of what we hold dear, we breathe it in fully, joyfully, completely. And let it become the fabric of our being. And so this morning, we celebrate the simplicity and also the power of our breath as a spiritual tool that we can use in each moment to bring ourselves into present moment awareness so that we can avail ourselves to life in its fullness and its joys and its abundance and its sorrows, all of it. All of the beauty and complexity of life we can drink in with the breath. And as we use the breath consciously to bring us in present moment awareness, we can choose consciously how we choose to walk on this earth. We can choose to let go of what no longer serves us. And we can drink in life's love, joy, abundance. Even the challenging experiences, we drink it all in 
knowing that every experience teaches us, expands us and deepens us as we allow it. So let's take one more deep breath together. Ah, what a beautiful energy in this room. When you're ready, just gently open your eyes. Wing wiggle your fingers and toes. And let's affirm together. As I breathe deeply, I let go and experience life's gifts in the present moment. And so it is.